<laughs> so yeah. essentially, so like Laron, mm -hmm. obviously a lot of like hip hop uh, rap acts come through here. Mm -hmm. Do you think, you know, either what they talk about lyrically or just the message in the music, whatever, do you think it makes it harder for you to do what you do and maybe eliminating negative stereotypes or, you know, you know what, pushing diversity? I, I feel like it's not because of what's going on in the world. Everybody's like, it's like smacking people in the face. Like, I'm talking about from riots to like how people feel about Trump to all this stuff that people are actually now starting to have to talk about real stuff. Like, a lot of, some people are. A, a good handful of people are, you know what I mean? Like, and it kind of makes it easier to relate to because it's real, you know? Like, I, even people who I, that I'm, I'm being completely honest, I might not like the way they sound, but they're not lying about what they're talking about. They're talking about something that's universal, you know? Mm -hmm. So it makes it somewhat, somewhat easy. And some people are in the generic way of rapping. They just talk about the, you know, same old stuff. But I think so pretty much so far, like, it's, it's, it's pretty universal. Nice. Yeah. With, um, with like, hip-hop having, like, really deep roots here, there, it's, like, an open question for both of you. Do you guys think... It could have more like a, a comeback. Like you ever heard of Nick Grant? Yeah. Like kind of kind of more like that. Yeah, I mean, I think it's open to going anyway. Really, you know, like I think I'm attracted to like a lot of young talent that has like their own sound. Like a lot of like the artists that you probably see me around um, that were young were artists that I saw and were like, that's different, you know. And then I, from there, like I kind of found some success with working with some artists like that. And from that moment, I kind of decided, like, it's open anyway, you know, like, and it's really just like I said about the movement, like, if you, it's one thing to be an artist who has a sound that is unique, but keeping it to yourself, and it's another thing to have an artist that has their own sound, but is getting, like, is a part of a sound that's similar, but not the same, you know, like, kind of like, H out in, like HBK and all that. Yeah, like, they came out and they had a sound, and it was like, whoa, but then they all had their own little sound in, in between, but then they all were able to perform and create a buzz around the whole movement. And mm -hmm. I think that I've seen that happen a couple times with like different groups of people in Oakland. And that's what's funny being in studios because you're kind of like, you get to know everyone. So you can go to this show and everyone's like, oh, hey, what's up? And then you go to this show, but you kind of have to put a different hat on in each situation because you know, oh, this is that culture. You know, like they're, they do this and that and other thing. Whereas these people do this, you know? And like, mm -hmm. you know, we see the most gangster rappers and then we see the most lighthearted comedy <laughs> rappers, you know? So it's like, you see everything really and, and it's all just stems from people's beliefs and cultures and what they project, so. In the way of going back to like diversity, um, we all know like Kehlani's been like, she's a Bay native and like broke out and her latest album, she's on tour. Do you guys think that she's really paving way for like another good, you know, female kind of um, like Aaliyah, that tough, cute kind of act. You I know? think so, because anybody who gets success like that like opens up other doors for people, no matter, like, I don't care about any of the negative stuff that, like, they say about artists, because sometimes we don't really know, so, like, I just pay attention to, like, what they're accomplishing, you know what I'm saying? And she keeps accomplishing a lot, so. I mean, I think you could just look at the duo of g Easy and Kehlani and just mm -hmm. say, like, if you ask someone five years ago who the next big Bay artist would, would they say the, you know what I'm saying? Like, so that's why I think it's funny because it's like we come from a world that's so diverse that it almost like, like having those two people emerge from the Bay, it's like, it's kind of just like, and rep the Bay, I guess, you know, it's like, it's kind of interesting because it's like now it's really open for anyone to be, you know, you can't say, you can't be anyone and be like, oh, I don't know if they're going to, you know, accept me, you know, because it's like, yeah, but I think, <clears throat> I think Kaylani, she's like, that's what I was kind of talking about too, is like her personality, you know, like. Yeah, she's got a good person, she's got a universal personality. Yeah. You can tell in her writing, it's, it's, it comes out in yeah. each song, she get a different yeah. way of her. She's talented. I'll work with her. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all work. <laughs> Gotta be, I, I'd like to meet her first, but... Yeah, um, sure. But, like, kind of getting more into, like, direct questionnaire, what do you guys think you do specifically to make sure that, you know, I guess the range of artists who come in here are diverse, or what do you do specifically to make sure that, you know, what you promote is unique and different? Mm -hmm. I... I think that when we promote, like, a price, 
we don't necessarily promote a price. We promote like the quality and the people who appreciate that are different kinds of people. Like the people who appreciate the quality that's here are like, it's a versatile handful, but it's not like a, it's not the wrong crowd, I feel like, you know what I mean? And I think too, it's like, we don't filter like the way we project. Like we yeah. don't filter like, oh, we're gonna put this out for this person. Or we're gonna yeah. put this out for this person. It's kind of like, we just put it out there. When we throw a contest, we don't say, oh, that person's too gangster. Or that person's yeah. too not, you know? We just like- Whoever's gonna live up to that standard really, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just whoever pushes, like, it's like, we'll accept everyone. We're not gonna try to filter it out. Cause you know, I think the Bay, if, like in the Bay Area, if you keep it natural, it's gonna end up being diverse. As long as you don't shut yourself off from working with someone, you know, like we're willing to work with bands, you know, like we're willing to do this. Like, even though we, that's not a lot of our clients, we wouldn't say no, you know, like I've worked with people that like you wouldn't expect. Like I've worked with families of, you know, Hispanic people who are making church music, you know, like, and it's just like, that's, you know, like there's little kids and the whole family's here, you know, and then it's like next hour I'm with, you know you know, Rico the kid, or, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's like- all universal that they all appreciate the quality. So yeah. that's like the best thing. And then the way it's presented too, like if you make it easy for someone to like, when they ask, hey, how much is it for whatever, you know what I mean? And instead of just having something that you can just like a price, like in a text, we have templates that we can give to anybody, you know what I mean? It's like, here, check this out. And whoever appreciates it. Yeah, we don't try that. to keep the price to yeah. ourselves and try to charge people different prices. We yeah, just try to be like, same this thing. is what it is. And, yeah. and you know, whatever yeah. your situation is, yeah. we'll work with you. Because to me too, it's like anyone, I have like a soft spot for, for people who make music. So it's like, I already understand if you're not in a financial situation, like I, if you, if you like talk to me and like kind of were like, you know, this is, you know, I'm working and like, you know, this is what I can do. I might just be like, all right, you know, I'm gonna, we'll work out this deal and figure it out because I wanna see you succeed. I wanna see you be able to project your message on the world, you know, like, I don't know, it's, it's like kind of like that, I guess. It brings a whole realm of people, not just one type. But as long as I, I feel like, as long as you just keep that quality and that standard, you won't really have a problem. Mm -hmm. who it is really. and doing that for everyone like giving yeah. everyone the best you can like, mm -hmm. so no one feels like oh if I go there they don't really like people like me because you know what I'm saying yeah. like whatever yeah. like, so like what do you guys think like I guess when most artists first come in or they like are first getting started or they've never done this or that you know what do you think maybe kind of stifles their creativity a bit do you think they come in and think okay it's uh I just started making music so I'm supposed to sound this way. Mm -hmm. Or I just started writing a little bit and my lyrics have to be this way. What do you guys think, I, think, I guess, as mentors? How do you kind of reset some artists and say, hey, you think, know what, if you want to create, you need to be yourself? I think more the mentor would come from Alex. But like here, like this building, it's just a private space. Yeah, it's a and private I, space. Yeah, yeah, and I, feel feel like, I feel like that's the hardest part is like yeah. creating a creative space that people feel comfortable in. Yeah. Like, I can't tell you how many people have come in and been like, I really like this space because it makes me feel comfortable. You know, like even a though, <laughs> even though we have producers walking around and other people in the building, it's like people have been like, oh, like I want to come here because you know, I noticed that, like, when I came to the door, like, the was like, hey, what's up, you know, like, made sure I was, you know, even when it's like, a, even when it's another, like, place, people, like, like, that they can go to, and it's, like, cheaper, they still would rather come here and spend their money, and it's because of, like, like, the feeling, the vibes that, that are here that we kind of, like, have everyone hold up to, you know what I mean, it's kind of like a free creative space to really get some good work done. Yeah, so, but I feel like as far as, like, when, when an artist is, like, I think to me, I always, when I work, I like to just listen and just be like, okay, what is this person projecting right now? And if they feel it, they'll feel it inside themselves before I tell them. Like, they'll be like, oh no, it just feels like something's wrong, you know? And I'll be like, well, I think it's because, you know, you're trying to be like, you know, this, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're trying to be this, but you need to like, say it from yourself. Like, you're trying to rap it like how that Drake song is that just came out or whatever, but you need to just like, dig deep and tell it how you would tell someone like if you were gonna have a conversation with someone and you had to tell them or you know yell at it or something like you got to put that emotion in there you know like branding also yeah. helps with that too that gives you a lane of which way you want to go like if people come in here and they're artists and they like like say when alex is actually recording them like when they're actually doing the thing recording that's 
it's something totally different but when they're outside of that room and they're like dang i want to get t-shirts i want to get this kind of stuff made how they get that stuff made and like the merch that they have is it universal can someone's parent like get this you know what i mean that's going to help them mold their brand itself and like what they talk about you know what i mean thanks yeah. yeah i think too it's like it's also just providing that like i guess like all this kind of comes into play like providing a space that you don't have to feel like you have to be like someone like you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. you'll notice like you know when we have like you know rele- we had a release party here and we had you know chris baby performing enrico and you know you know a couple other people and it's like you listen to all that music and it's just so different you know like but it's like you can just appreciate it from seeing like how they're projecting it and how different they, they are you know like you could just be like dang like if i come to the studio i don't have to be like anyone you know like i don't have to they only take girl singers so they only take you know like this like they're only going to take someone who's 18 or 19 years old no like it's it's all about working with people who are driven who yeah who have strong enough feelings about their message that want to project it you know like but a lot of people here like like i, I wrote a blog with one of the producers here and he's like fairly new producer and it was his story that drives him you know what i mean that's what keeps him and his unique self to not sound like anyone else or like because he's like like i say he's you're talking about artists who come in mm-hmm. he's a producer who's like one of the brand new to him but he has a story that's so driven and like like that story makes him want to do what he wants to sound like mm-hmm. you know what i mean so that's and i feel like too. i feel like that's a funny point because i think that the old me was less open to that. Like, I was, like, <laughs> like when, like, I had, like, a young kid from my, like, town, that's someone that's closer to me, like, he's, like, a little brother. It's, like, I'm gonna be, like, oh, you need to make beats that are like this, you know? Like, I feel like I probably told him that, like, a year or two ago, like, but, like, before he even really started, you know? Like, but I think just being in this situation and learning, like, you know, just how diverse music is like mm-hmm. i feel like that's now it's like we you know i never would approach him about trying to make something that's not you know what he is you know and it's funny too because he's also told me that too i think one time i was like why don't you ever make beats that are like you know what you know more mainstream and he's like oh no like i'm gonna you know i'm gonna stand by my sound and just keep doing me and after he said that i was like that's cool you know i respect that because eventually people come around to that you know like you'll be doing your style so hard and people won't pay attention and all of a sudden like people start paying attention to you and want that you know like that's what they want from you you know that's why you're unique whereas if you keep trying to chase the style and you just start becoming everyone and everyone says oh yeah he's just trying to be the next future he's just trying to be the next you know what i'm saying but do you um so specifically like what made you guys like start working together and what made you guys, like, I guess, attract one another? We were forced together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think, what was it? It was the fact that Alex is, like, I remember that. Super, I remember we had a phone he's conversation. He's like a workaholic, right? I remember and we had a phone conversation before I even really knew. Yeah. It was like I knew. I, I, I shot like, a cypher at, <laughs> at, at Urban Cuts. You did a cypher. Yeah, I shot a cypher at Urban Cuts. It was Even Wright's first, or uh, it was our second project cypher. But then I was just gonna shoot one for you to and he came. And then it was like, funny because I think before that, like we were talking about, yeah. like I was asking him what you're asking us. You know, I was like, what is he doing right? It's like, what yeah. do you do? Like, and I was like, dang, like that's what I wanted. And he to told do. me about Aubrey Magazine too. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah. okay, that's dope. And then I, and then I'm telling you, like, what really brought us together was the fact that like he is like hella driven, like like a really hard worker. I'm a really hard worker. Yeah. So it's like that's kind of like a trash, you know what I mean? And then like then we would think about like the shit that we can accomplish together, like it would be. And it was always it on. Hard. It was always on some like, like philanthropy, like <laughs> community <laughs> stuff, like everything, yeah. like from the beginning, like every like thing we wanted through, to do. Through a basketball tournament, charity basketball. Yeah, tournament. charity basketball tournament. Yeah. You know we you know we try to we try to pump up the jacket jacket drive because you know we wanted to be a part of that like. Yeah. Everything, everything we did yeah. was like just oh, trying right. to better the community. Like, yeah. and I feel like when you do that, it's such a sensitive thing. Like, you know, like people are always gonna try to be like, "Oh, you're not doing it right," you know, or whatever. But I feel like we always just kind of were like, "Well, we're doing something," you know, like we're trying to like better the community, and we're the ones over here like just putting effort into trying to give everyone 
you know, an opportunity to present what they bring to the table. Because I think that's a big thing, too, that, like, my dad taught me growing up is, like, you know, he started schools and he never wanted to make the tuition to, to cost too much because he said that would take away the people who really have a bigger message to tell. It would keep them away from being able to tell it, you know, like, or it would, you know, just keep the people that you want in a scenario out when in reality, like, there's a lot of these people out here that they never get a chance to, you know, become who they want to be because, you know, but everything's right here, like, in front of you, you know? Yeah, it's pretty cool that that we got to work, that we're getting to work together like that, you know? Because it's kind of hard to, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not easy to find somebody to work with that, that wants to do good. Some people just want to work and make the money, you know? But like, I'm not saying making the money is wrong, but it's cool that the fact, like some of the main reasons why we do work together is because we both want positive things, you know what I mean? We both want to see other people get opportunities. Alex just did, uh, Plizzy make a play contest, mm -hmm. and that was that was a uh, that was to give away a free session to somebody. You know what I mean? And to like really put a whole ordeal around them to give them an opportunity. Like mm -hmm. I was hell excited to like, okay, how can we come up with marketing material for that? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So now it's like a team effort. So it's like it's yeah. cool that like, we like we both like that. And to know? me too, like I was thinking about like everything with the contest too, like the way that it's structured. Like I want to give people opportunity to put on for themselves, like post your music on your page and tell your fans to go vote for you you know like that just that's bettering them even if they don't win now you just turn on a hundred people you just ask a hundred people to tune in and support you you know like <laughs> the next thing that you do they're gonna like that's gonna be even bigger for you you know like and so like there's all that stuff but I think really it's just like about giving people opportunities and, and really just seeing who's willing to work hard for something and like you know, it doesn't matter, like, like we said, it, it's, it's, you're gonna find the most, you know, driven person who's, you know, basically made the most impact when you do those kind of, like, contests. Yeah. But, yeah, that was fun. I'm, I'm excited. Shout out to JJ, turn it down. Yeah, for real. We're gonna, we're, <laughs> yeah. we're gonna, we're Gotta actually, we just set up a, a session next weekend. And we're gonna Still. do... Yo, I kind of want to meet him. We're going to make a play. I want to meet him. No, I'm serious. Like, I, like, I've been oh, looking yeah. for someone who could do that, like, funky kind of R&B for that singer, actually. Yeah. And he's, like... I know. It's funny when, like, you find people, like, do contests like this, because... Because it takes a second, and you're just like, I've been looking for this for, like, <laughs> fucking four months. Yeah. <laughs> and I've yeah. been four producers doing this. Like, yeah. it's... It could be a little tough. You yeah. know, finding access is hard. Exactly. I think, too, like there's just so many different types of people out there and that's like the funny part when people always approach me about working with like us or whatever like i say like you know like let's not say too much <laughs> let's because <laughs> we could get out there you know shout out. <laughs> but uh you know sometimes it doesn't click you know right. and i feel like that's my message is like i'm never going to prevent something from clicking but if we don't click then it just doesn't but if we do, then, like, it really does. Like, around here, like, when we work with people, it's, like, family for sure, like. Yeah, and I just don't think a lot of people realize, like, how many artists you may have to go through for it to click. Like, it's not going to be the first one. Oh, yeah, It's not going to be the sure. second one. Exactly. Probably not even the third, fourth, or fifth. It's going to be a lot. Yeah, no, exactly. And, like, you can get lucky and find, you know, certain people to click with. But I think it's creative it's creative stuff is so sensitive you know like it's such a sensitive thing and a lot of people are introverts and then you have communication issues and you know like all that stuff but that's why we got Ron over here he organizing is so key he's a he's a great organizer and communicator you know my mic's not messed up is it I hope no <laughs> no I just came out of my pocket I was like I hope I didn't turn anything off there's buttons on there oh yeah <laughs> So, um, what do you guys really hope for, for Oakland and the Bay Area and just... Music? Unity. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Because for I a really while, like, that. I mean, I just moved I back, could... but yeah. Oakland was kind of a quiet, uh -huh. you know, we had a different mayor. She kind of... Yeah, I feel like, um... <laughs> <laughs> you can come in. can What's up, man? No. Yeah. No, you're in the interview yeah. now. This is because the kids. Okay, yeah, all around Miss Daisy. You need it? You want it? Yeah. 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 Ye
No, I was just telling you just to check it out. Oh, okay, let me um, get him started, dude. Yeah, I'll come back. Yeah, I'll come cool. back. But uh, yeah, I feel like to me it's kind of like there's so many outside things that affect the Bay Area and how it moves that like sometimes it feels like oh, like there's so many these types of people in the Bay Area, these types of people in the Bay Area, but like. To me, like when I see things like recently that you know that battle, of the, like how that in Berkeley, like I'm like that's not my city, like you know what I'm saying, like but that's not my again, city. It's like like being like if I wanted to be like all the way precise, we do have unity, we do have unity, and a lot of that stuff, a lot of the people that were rioting in Berkeley weren't yeah, even they from. Were, they, they came weren't, outside. Yeah, yeah, they weren't from here. But, but that's I, really cool. But I think to me, it's like I mean, not really cool, but. Yeah. I mean, I, I love how, like, nice. we all have our own beliefs to the point where, like, I can't really... I've never been out in a situation where someone's like, I believe this. And everyone's like, no, you can't believe that. Like, we believe this. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, to an extent, obviously. But like, I feel like around here, everyone's kind of open to be like, okay, that's you. You know, that, you know, to yours is yours. But, but I don't know. I think I, I want to see more more of these kids coming together and creating movements and creating events that don't become violent and, yeah. and like a lot of less like crime like in, in inner crime like I, I don't want to see like people fighting and stuff like that because I think the music is such like a crazy thing when you see artists from different areas of the town that shouldn't mix or whatever but you see them kind of like get by on some music stuff you know so it's like I feel like the music and all everything really is gonna it, it can help as long as everything's structured properly, you know, like as long as people wanna get involved to help the community and like You wanna know what I wanna I wanna see this. I wanna I wanna see more artists, like as we're talking like music wise, I wanna see more artists take like the little dicky route. And I mean, I, mean <laughs> I by, respect that. What I mean by that is like, a lot. <laughs> Seriously, so many artists out here are so creative because we're from the Bay Area that we probably would probably be the, like some of the best to do that. You know what I mean? And I want to see more people get creative like on different like ways. Just being too real with this. Yeah, with like this. all the way real. Like not yeah, even I'm, like not even trying to like. I'm not gonna lie, I bought I bought the login for the Netflix. <laughs> like the car, I, yo, seriously, like the cars, all of that. I, I want it. Like I, it's cool to like to have that stuff. I'm not saying I think like it. it's kind of coming to that era. Like I yeah. feel like growing up, it was all about having the chain and the whip and yeah, everything. Yeah. And now I feel like people are like I've seen like straight up G's come through with the Prius and I'm like uh. you were just in like you know the S class you know what I'm saying <laughs> and then like so it's just like it just makes everything even that I much think, more I think everyone's just understanding like it's it's more about like what's real now you know like it's less about putting on this front about like oh I have this or I have that it's more about like people are really in here talking about like them doing things for the community. And, and the reason why I want to see that, I mean, cut you off. And the reason yeah. why I want to see that is because the Bay Area is so good at it. Because the Bay Area is like so original. You know what I mean? There's so much like creativeness here that people think that they have to do that when like they really don't. It might have even been cheaper to do it this way and you probably would have made more money. You know what I mean? <coughs> so, um, do you guys feel like with the changing San Francisco? gentrification, whatever you want to call it, that, you, you know, people say a lot of that culture is being pushed into Berkeley and into Oakland. Do you guys feel like um, it's kind of like not so much dispersed as it's just coming right to you and you, you like it? Or do you feel like you're kind of lost and have to search for it? Yeah, I mean, I think, like we were kind of talking about earlier, like, I think it's really just these groups of people coming together and like preserving the culture, you know, like, I think it's like, you know, you, you see that and I think that when I see like gentrification and all that stuff, like it almost doesn't like affect that as much. You go to those shows, you see the same people, you know, like you go to like, you know, you do certain things, you, you see the same people. And I feel like those types of gentrification aspects are kind of like not affected as much as like a mainstream event, you know, like, like them putting on this event and now being like, trying to regulate it more or trying mm -hmm. to do this more to this but if the, if the people throw the event it's never going to change you know like that's true and i think i i think it creates more <clears throat> more you know projection of the culture when people are saying like you know like you can't take this away from us or like you know like and there's a lot of that like um 
we did a lot of that, like, and talked a lot about that when I was working with Eli J, because he had the project, and you know, we called it Gentrified, and like, and it's just funny because that was something that like we had been talking about, like at the time I was working at Google, like you know, so it was just funny because it was like we were talking about all this stuff that like, hey, I just got out of school, so I was like fresh off of just learning about that type of stuff. And then B, I went to go work at Google, which is basically causing it, you know. Then I'm working with the artist who's like just straight like heart in Oakland, you know, wants to project that. So it's just like it was a lot of like good understanding of just like what's going on, like. And I think that you know I have more and more friends moving into Oakland from like you know really wealthy areas or whatever. But it's like I don't think that the heart of it is getting affected. You know, you can still go out at first Fridays, and that is crazy. You know, like it's not. It's not like people are taking that away, at least yet, you know, but I feel like the more people regulate it themselves and don't let it get taken away, that's how we're going to win, you know, like people creating something from it that's official, that's saying, okay, like, why can't we do this, you know, like, and I think that's what a lot of these groups of kids are doing, like, they're, they're doing their shows and they're saying, like, you know, you can't take that away from us, you know? Yeah. So. Do you guys think that maybe in you know obviously you're saying you know Oakland's a place where people are kind of saying you know you can't take this away you know we're still going to be this we're still going to be that do you think maybe people in San Francisco are not as willing to put up that fight fight or have slowly kind of been pushed out altogether I mean I think it's harder to see Mm -hmm. I asked because I was in the city the other day and uh this guy spilled something in front of a restaurant. It was it was clearly an accident, but like the the owner came out and was like really adamant, like you better clean this up. And it was only like you know not a really big deal, but and, you know I was standing there and I was kind of like, why is he so yeah. persistent about this? You yeah. know, and he was like he was like a younger guy and his dad was like trying to, yeah. and you know he finally the guy actually came back and bent down and wiped it up and he was still kind of like going on and he finally blurts out, you know, respect the community. You know, and you could tell he had really, you know, probably dealt with some people who... I think, like, it's almost, like, vice versa as in, like, San Francisco and Oakland. Like, I feel like when I'm in San Francisco, I feel like when I look around, it's, like, who's really from here, you know? Whereas, like, in Oakland, it's, like, you see that one guy that's not from there. You know what I'm saying? Or, like, that. Like, you kind of just, like, it's, like, you almost stick out more like a sore thumb, like, in San Francisco when you're, like, really kind of from that area. Whereas, like, in... Oakland it's like I feel like more people are like they're almost I feel like I'm just here they're more intimidated to be out you know like it's it's just like you know Oakland is an intimidating place like you know like it's not easy to be like someone that's come from a very wealthy family and just walk around every part of Oakland you right. know like so I feel like that's what it holds the power that Oakland holds is being like hey like you don't have to be like us you know what I'm saying but if you're trying to take this over you know like and I think it's crazy to see you know like driving around Oakland and just seeing like you know, just cities of tents and stuff, you know, like, it's just like, you know, those people are refusing to leave, you know, like, the, you know, and I think that's why, like, everyone kind of needs to come together and be like, it's not about getting, like, the low real estate and, and you know, like, you can buy up all the low real estate around here and changing and making money. It's like, let's look out after all these other people, too, you know, like, why can't the wealth also help those people, you know, like, the wealth in the area, why can't they make something for people that's more affordable, you know, that's not run down, you know, like, so. Yeah, like, people have said to me, you know, you, you're from here, and you're just mad about money, and I'm just like, oh, no, I don't, I don't care about what people do with their money, you know, that's, that's their business, I just feel like, you know, these rich people came, picked here for a reason, you know, because this is a place that fosters innovation, creativity, diversity, mm-hmm. you know, remember why you picked here, mm-hmm. and in, two, three, four years when, you know, they pushed out all the culture to here and they're just kind of fiercely competing against each other, I think they're going to wonder, where did all the culture go? Where did, where did it all go? You know, we came here for this reason. It's like, well, you pushed it out with your attitude. Yeah. So. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's funny. I think, Hmm. I think people like to be, like, I've been around so many people that, like, are in disbelief, like, oh, that does, that's not happening, like, you know, and I think that, to me, it's like, it's like you said, they won't know until it's too late, you know, like, and that's the sad part, is that, like, it is all business, and it is all, oh, who can get their, you know, money, you know, and all this stuff, but I feel like that's what our goals are, is, like, not to be, 
you know, not to necessarily like screw it, a lot of people over and get the most money, but being an area where you're working with the people and trying to, you know, trying to work, like create better around everywhere, not just you know, one thing or the other. But yeah, a lot of people just are all about the check, you know, which you could be about, but nothing do wrong. More, do more, get, nothing get wrong the check and the check. help the community. Nothing wrong with the check, just like do right with it. Do you think one of those one of those things comes naturally with the other, the community? Mm. If you really push the community, you'll see an investment return. Uh, or if you really push you the check, to, you'll you see one be able to for the other. Do something for not like always just do something for someone else, but do something for the community. Because if you can do something for the community, then when you have something that uh, you're investing in to like bring you revenue, it's gonna. Um, make the community feel more relaxed to support you. You know what I mean? More comfortable. And I don't necessarily think that you need to buy people, you know what I mean, or do something just so they can do that, but it it will like help you in the long run financially if you think about it. Because even rice people ask me is are you guys a non profit? No, we're an S corporation. But <clears throat> I don't think that there's anything wrong with making money with doing something positive. You know what I mean? I don't think that. And I think people get that kind of messed up because, like, not for profit. A lot of times, it's taking advantage of people who are not about that. You know, like there's so many non for profits that are run by people who do not care. Yeah, you, know? like, you just want the money. And it's like it's yeah. different when like you are for profit and like because then you you kind of have like less leeway to be like behind the scenes with the stuff. You know, like oh, we're gonna pay ourselves this and. You know what I'm yeah, saying? like it's you, more people, like, you think people kind of use nonprofit as a way to like get interest, but they're oh yeah, yeah sure. really yeah, yeah. totally all about profit. Yeah, it's a tool, like a lot of like you know, and I think that, like yeah, for me it's like, it's if we can get to a point where you know other people can be a part of it, and you know other people can, you know, help create profits for everyone. Like that's what we want. We don't want to say oh. We're not gonna like take a profit. We're only gonna help people, but then be paying ourselves so much that it's like, what do you do? Right. We gotta so. That's um, like the sounds like traditional label structure kind of. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, no, I think everything's everything's gonna be interesting in the next coming years. I think the best part about being on this end of it is like, we get like what everyone feels around the area. So then once you start hanging out with people that are just so oblivious and people that are from out of town that are just hearing all this stuff, it's like, they're just so like, you're just like, wow, you're uneducated, you know, like yeah. on what's going on. And like, I feel like we're the most educated on how people feel because that's what the music is. It's telling us, you know, like, okay, exactly how feel. you know, like, okay, that's, you know, in this area, like people have come from like a lot of hard shit and like they have, and they're, and they're positive and they're positive that they're going to go forward. How many times have you met, like, someone who's from a rich family who's just depressed off nothing, you know, like, so it's just, like, I don't know, I think everyone that, that strives will win, you know, like, I think that we're gonna definitely be, you know, we're, we're always building, so whoever's coming with us, we're all gonna be doing good. <laughs> That's right. Cool. Five minutes to your session. He said his Uber's running, running late. <laughs> It's, it's a new session, so like, you know, this is another situation. I don't know, you know, we're just gonna get to know each other and see what he's about. See what is he's the context for him? No, no, no. I think that like, and this is kind of like touching bases like on overall this whole interview. This is like, a, all base studios is like a really cool environment for you know, like people who want to be universal to be creative. If you don't really want to be universal and you want to have like one lane, like it's it's cool. It's not a bad thing, but when you want to be able to re to relate to like different people in your music and like and like open up, it's it's this is like a great place for you to be. Yeah, I feel like too. It's like it's just funny because we have all day. Yeah. Studios, all day music, and even rights, and that's basically saying like all day, like it's it's the whole day. Like yeah. we're not picking a side, and then like then you got even rights, which is just what it is, you know. Eliminating negative stereotypes through so. events, collaborations, and projects. Exactly. Do you think having even rights like promote your studio like 
maybe takes a hesitation away from some artists? I think it, like, I always think about that, honestly, because, like, you know, like, undeniably, I'm white, you know, and a lot of people I work with are, you know, yeah. black. So it's just like, or yeah, whatever, you know? And I feel like I'm more worried about people judging me and thinking I'm a certain way, you know? So like, I think shooting them that like, oh, you know, talk to human rights and all this stuff. It's like, I, I, I think, like, I always wondered that, like, what do they think from that, you know? Like, because I think it goes every single way, you know? Like when someone's like talking to even rights, you know, to schedule a session, it's like, you know, we're not coming from an area of being like, you know, like, beside, besides what you see of me online, like, now you know, like, this is an even playing field, you know, like, even rights, like, it doesn't matter what I look like or what I do, you know, it's like, you're talking to even rights, which is going to help you, you know, put, you know, get you in the right. It's just going to hold that position. standard, like, whatever the standard is, like, and trying to be like, okay, you're a new artist, like, you're, you're working, but, like, you still have an equal opportunity to book a session with Alex, like, I know you have a busy schedule, and I know you really want to get in into the studio so how can I help you or how can we help you because I'm not doing anything by myself with my brain mm -hmm. but it's just <clears throat> another way to just kind of like let people know that they're welcome you know what I mean no matter really who you are if you want to like that's why I just think it's know, funny that the brand people. is so like straightforward <laughs> with it then like even rights <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm yeah. like that is you don't even have to say it like anything besides that just even rights all the studios. It's the whole day. <laughs> yeah. I never really thought about that, bro. How, like, I've thought about it, but, like, all day, that name, just in general, that's, like, so universal for the Bay Area. I'm not saying that it's, it's only for the Bay all Area. Crazy. Yeah, but it's not only for the Bay Area, though. I feel like it's... Any it's, Bay. Yeah. <laughs> Green Bay. Any <laughs> Bay. <laughs> nah, yeah, I think, uh... I think it's gonna be cool. We're gonna keep trying to do some some things to give more people opportunities. You know, try to keep doing you know some some charity events and, yeah. and all that stuff. We're playing. We that keep contest pushing. is actually really cool. I mean, I think I think it's I think it's great because people know that we're not like trying to take from them. We're always trying to give back. You know, we're not trying to hit anyone for anything that we don't want. We're just like we'll give people opportunity. I'll I'll take time out of my day. And, and, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll work on to. someone who just put who just pushed themselves to win the contest. I'll take a whole day off for them and work with them. You know, like, and that's anybody. That's not just a certain type of person. You know, <laughs> which made it really cool. That's what I thought it was so dope. Yeah. But yeah, I think I think we uh, wrapped it up. This is really dope. Did you fucking? I don't know. I still get a kick of how it looks though. Like when you when you have the on the on the phone. And I was looking at it yeah. hell long. I was like this. <laughs> I, was like, like, I was like this. I was like, oh yeah. So what's about to happen? He's like, oh move it. I was like, oh. <laughs>